focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to Passion to Win, a series celebrating the winners of the EY Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 Awards. I'm Shireen Bhan. On this week's episode, we feature three entrepreneurial giants who put India on the global network through their ventures and paved the way through some robust times. Our first feature is about two childhood friends who dare to set up an Indian FMCG company in a market that was dominated by international giants. From personally selling cosmetics shop to shop to establishing a 10,000 and Crorepi Enterprise, this duo has come a long way. Let's take a look at the journey of R.S. Agarwal and R.S. Goenka, the founders of the Imami Group. R.S. Agarwal and R.S. Goenka were firm friends in school who decided to get into business together for a rather unusual reason, an opportunity to keep meeting each other. We started with a capital of only 20,000 rupees. We and Goenka ji were close friends in our school since what you say this happened friends and we were friends and then we will meet in our soap in the evening even when we were doing our college even when we, we were in our schools so after we had completed our college the question was more of meeting and less of business. Then the idea came that why not to start a business so that through that business association we will be able to meet regularly. That's how the idea of starting business started. Since we are sit, used to sit in our shop where cosmetics, toiletries, etc. were being sold, we thought why not to start a cosmetic business because the chances of losses are minimum and they do not require huge capital. That's how we got into the business of cosmetics. In the early 80s, however, they tasted their first real success. The turning point started from 1974 and then in 1978 we took Imani Limited, which was a 100 year old company at that time but with very little resources. We took over that company, came out with the brand Boroplus there and uh, Imani Glycine was a leading glycerin soap in the country. Boroplus became an instant success. At that time, Borolin was the brand leader, having uh, more than 90% market share. And Boroplus, we thought, is a weak competitor. And our formulation of product was very good, and the ex so the acceptance of the product was very immediate. And that's how, in three years' time, we could get a sizable market share. Inspired by these successes, the two friends decided to diversify into other businesses as well. Imami is a 4,000 crore co company, highly diversified into paper, we are into edible oil, we are into healthcare, we have got chain of pharmacies, we are into retail, we have got bulb and tips factory and, and we are going into, these are the existing clients which we have and then we are going into cement, power, we are thinking of uh, this uh, hydro power as well and uh, we are in the process of acquiring some coal mines in Indonesia. Today, even as the Imami Group has grown to become a more than 10,000 crore rupee enterprise, one thing has stayed unchanged, the strength of the Agarwal Goenka partnership. Left to me, perhaps I would have been able to manage the people and the other thing, I would not have been able to manage money. Money is not my strength, though I am a chartered accountant. Money, because I do not know how to uh, conserve that, I know how to manage that. Hmm? And we and Goenka ji that way are the perfect complement to each other. And uh, hmm. just like the, the certain music director duos, huh? Lakshmikan, Pyaralal or Shankar Jayakishan, we are great duo. duos, but with one difference only. In our case there is no duality, it is only oneness, it is a dwight. We are not 
to Myanmar. RS Agarwal and RS Goenka were awarded Entrepreneurs of the Year 2015 for the Retail and Consumer Products category. The winners are Mr. RS Agarwal and Mr. RS Goenka of Imami. It is time for a short break, but on the other side, Samir Mehta of Torrent Pharma tells us how the group overcame its biggest challenge. Stay tuned.